What's up, you guys? Uh, about ready to leave Salt Lake City. Finally, uh, ended up getting a whole another, another 34-hour reset out of this uh, after I just only drove 530 miles off the last reset. Uh, as I mentioned in my last video, uh, I had a, I was supposed to swap uh, my empty for someone else's loaded here. Uh, the other load was going to Stockton, California, and uh, it. Uh, ended up falling through because I ended up rejecting the load because it was not skilled legal so um, I ended up uh, ended, uh, the, the planner this morning uh, came in actually the normal uh, normally the California planner uh, he's covering the weekend and he noticed that I was without a plan and another driver had two pre plans and I'm guessing it was one of the one of the other drivers involved in that you know the swap uh, series of load swaps they were trying to do yesterday or day before um, Anyway, uh, I got that load back. It picks up tonight, but it may be ready now. I'll find out. I'll, I'm going to head up that way and at least go drop my empty and see if it's ready. And if it is, I'll, yeah, I'll get moving. Uh, I mean, with it, load's going to Salt uh, to, to San Antonio, Texas, and it has a follow-on uh, second drop in Houston, Texas. So uh, I'll have a little bit of a scenic route, I guess, uh, on the way out. I'm, I may go ahead and take the uh, U.S. routes out of there from uh, basically take the back way in from uh, through uh, into Wyoming. Uh, I don't really feel like coming all the way back down to I-15 I I so I can uh, work my way back over, especially with the interchange at the 84 and 80 being uh, closed lately. So, yeah, not, not to mention it's kind of a different route. It's uh, you know kind of fun, I guess. Uh, not too many trucks use it, but it's yeah, it's, it is a truck route. It is a U.S. highway also. So see how that goes. All right. Um, see, I got some trucks that look like they're holding me up for moving because uh, uh, I'm guessing somebody's trying to back in over here on the north end of the the lot here at the Flying J here in Salt Lake City. But yeah, as soon as they get as soon as they get out of the way. And I got at least three other truck, three or four other trucks here in front of me and to my right, waiting to get by as well. Um, hopefully, I'll get out of here soon. Uh, anyway, yeah, hopefully you watch my video and get get some, learn some lessons there about making sure your load's legal. Now get get your uh, yeah, if you're a driver. Yeah, if you got a heavy load, make sure you know where your state limits are as far as the tandem length restrictions are and stuff like that. And also axle and gross weight limits because they aren't always the same. And um, then on top of that, yeah, yeah, because you, you, yeah, yeah, get the load reworked if you have to. I mean, even if they bitch and bellyache about having to rework you, it's yeah, it beats you getting put out of service and having, and then get pissed off at them, and then get pissed off at yourself for making the, the decision to be too lazy to. Um, yeah, it looks like CRST is trying to go by these other guys. I don't know if these guys are parked or they're just trying to. Well, whatever. Um, sooner or later, I'll get out of here. But, yeah, anyway, like I was saying, uh, I don't want to, you know, don't, don't get yourself uh, locked up and, uh, you know, or put out of service at a way station or having to take extra long time trying to get around a, a dodge around a scale. And yeah, not to mention if, uh, if the DOT thinks that you're intentionally trying to dodge a scale, they can get you for that. So, yeah, uh, it's just not worth the risk to me. I, you know, so, yeah, and I wasn't going to risk getting put out of service. I would rather sit here knowing that I'm not going to get a violation or anything on my record and, yeah, and end up getting my load back anyway, so. Uh, I'm going to give a truck that's trying to park, so we in line here waiting to get out of here. Yeah. Okay. No, he's not trying to park, he's just trying to get it out, and apparently he's too close to one truck, and it looks like he might hit it. Oh, boy. 
Yeah, because, you know, we're all tucked in like sardines here. <laughs> well, well, there's nothing left over to cross from you. Uh, still smoking. This tire is still smoking. All right, well, I'm going to go see if this guy needs a spot then, because uh, apparently it's one person's I'm trying to hold that for you.
делает? Couldn't be more perfect than that. Set my brakes as well, and then back it in to the fifth wheel, and set my trailer brakes. All right, be back. Right, now 
done dropping this trailer. Now head over to the shipping office. See how things are going with my load. Let's see, I see at least one, two. At least three JCT trailers here that are loaded and ready. is ready for pickup uh, I'm looking for trailer 6474 which I know was one of those three I saw over there I think it was the middle one now what is that last one down there was a 7000 series yeah this is 6297 in front of me yeah, it is that middle one. Right, just before I, the, the hood of my truck gets to the trailer, it's when I'm going to start my turn. The faster I'm moving the truck forward, the faster I want to steer. Not exactly perfect, but it's close. Cut back over. Looks like it might be sitting a little high. Yeah, I barely feel it, so I'm going to go over. Before I go, uh, Before I go coupling in, I want to make sure my landing gear is um, off the ground. Test is good. I'm not 
I'm doing a tip test to make sure it's hooked up right. It's, I'm doing it to make sure the trailer brakes, brakes work right. If I want to make sure I'm hooked up right, I get my ass out and visually inspect. Tuck test is never good enough for uh, verifying that. Alright, now we get under the damn trailer and look at it. Ow. See, that's good. Locked in good, the uh, lever's all the way in. Take a look at all my cross members. Don't see anything hanging down. Reaper tape's not leaking. See how much gap there is now? These is how the crinkle line you up now. Put some pressure into this thing first. No, we're good. Let's slide the tandems right there. All right. That's kind of a thick seal, a yard seal there. I'm gonna have to uh, get my pliers out and cut that. This is the paperwork I need is inside the trailer anyway. Actually, I might slide the tenums first before I do the visual on all the parts there. <laughs> 